67 inch farmer here working on a uh, wood splitter on a six way wedge. As you can see, we're missing a wedge here and missing a wedge right here. I just cut this one off. Maybe I can go in there with a plasma cutter and cut that off some more. This used to be right here. I cut it off because it's all twisted and mangled. That was really bad. So I straightened it out with a press and I'm going to grind all this down and weld it back on there. Get this. It's 3 8 thick plate steel. I cut with a $200 plasma cutter from eBay. So I love this plasma cutter here. I shut it off and all that, but you got a ceramic cone. It goes over all of this stuff. There's a ceramic cone. And you got your nozzle, which is like copper or something like that. It's a copper nozzle. And you got a ceramic spinner. And then you have your electrode. It's a double side electrode, so you can use it twice. Uh, you can clean up the end of the electrode and use it again if you like. Let's put it back together. It goes electrode, and then it goes spinner, and then it goes nozzle. And then you put your cone over the top of all that. This plate is kind of pretty finicky. I like some new tips, but you, you can get a big old box. Let's see. I'll show you all the tips I got. So I got all these electrodes, all these spinners, all these nozzles, some more electrodes, and all the used ones and stuff. And I open this up. I've got more now. Well, oh, these are, I think these are cones. I got more cones in here. I got a boatload of cones. Here's that plasma cutter. I'll turn it on for you. It's a cut 50, so it says it's 50 amps. It's running on 240 volts right now. Uh, it can run on 110 as well. And then you have your pressure gauge right here. Uh, I run about 65, 70 PSI when it's not running anything. And that'll cut up to 3 8 steel, no problem. If I'm cutting up half inch thick, I'm going to turn that up to 70, 75. Uh, I'll do a little demonstration to mark this steel out so I can make a new wedge for the bottom there. Mark this out and I'll do a demonstration of actually cutting this thing for you guys. For $200, I love this machine. It's, to, it's done a lot for 200 bucks. Take our wedge. I uh, want to use the nice cut side on the back and also on the side that I'm not going to uh, weld. So we'll just trace this out. It's already got one. make a nice square line right there as well. I'm just going to free for all it is. It don't matter how pretty it is. Got a nice soapstone. Pull this off the edge there. Made a nice straight cut, nice and thin, about as thin as a uh, angle grinder would make with a cutoff wheel. Tip still pretty clean. Now we're gonna go the other way. No, I'll just put a new tip in there for you guys. thing with these uh, electrodes and stuff, they don't give you, for the consumables, they don't give you very many spinners. So you got to be careful with those spinners, make sure you don't drop them and break them. I'll get a new nozzle, so you can save that spinner, and a new electrode. It should work just as new. Save the cone. 
the dirtier the cone, oil, oilier the cone is, it seems like the stronger it is. It's a very brittle right now. I like to soak up all that oil and stuff. So now it should just work right off the bat. And if I wanted this to look nicer, all of this the rust and stuff makes it really hard to keep a nice clean edge on it. So if I wanted a nice clean cut without any spurts in there and stuff, I get it cutting good and cutting bad, cutting good and cutting bad. If I want to get rid of that, this is nice and smooth. So now it's will ride right against that, nice and easy. But I'm gonna. Just grind this at a really sharp bevel with this side so it doesn't much matter to me. So I'll get my Milwaukee grinder out and do that. I'll take it and grind this one too. Grind that smooth and we should be golden.